Hello everyone. I'm happy to be here at ISQED Symposium 2022. My name is Seema G. Arela. I'll be presenting my paper today, which is EasyBand 2.0, a framework with context-aware recommendation mechanism for safety-aware mobility during pandemic outbreaks. My co-authors on this paper are Dr. Ajay K. Tripathi, Dr. Saraju P. Mohanty, and Dr. Ilyas Kugianis. A little bit of introduction about myself. Uh, I completed my Bachelor of Engineering degree in Electronics and Communication from uh, India. Also, I did a Master of Technology degree in VLSI and Signal Processing from India. I have a Master of Science degree in Electrical Systems from University of North Texas in USA and uh, have worked as a lecturer and also as a software developer uh, before getting on to my PhD. And uh, currently I am uh, in the research group at Smart Electronic Systems Laboratory working under uh, Professor Saraju Mohanty at um, Computer Science and Engineering Department at University of North Texas in Denton, Texas. My area of research interests are Internet of Things and its applications, Smart Tourism and Collaborative Edge Computing. And today's outline of the talk will be introduction to my uh, research paper and uh, a bit about social distancing and enabling technologies related prayer research, novel contributions of the current paper, the proposed easy band mechanism, log normal shadow model, the proposed context of a recommendation system mechanism, implementation and results, and I'll conclude the talk with some uh, future research and the conclusions. Coming to the introduction. Uh, we are aware of the ongoing uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, which has been uh, prevalent since uh, last two years. And a lot of government measures have been uh, taken in order to curb the spread of the disease. And uh, one of the major way in which the disease was spreading was through contact. And hence, to reduce the contact was one of the major uh, challenge uh, for the governments and the people involved. So based on this, there was a uh, many applications and uh, research that had been done and also implemented, uh, which would help in uh, curbing the spread of the infectious disease and also uh, to keep track of the people and also um, help them uh, move safely around the world. Some of the safety measures are uh, listed here, like wearing masks, getting vaccinated, uh, following the lockdown rules, stay at home policies, sanitizing and also social distancing. Social distancing is one of the major um, concern and uh, this is where the technology was largely helpful in uh, coming up with uh, quick applications uh, to help and uh, enforce social distancing. We'll be dealing with that uh, in the coming parts of the presentation. Coming to the technologies that were very helpful in uh, developing applications for pandemic management, here are some of them listed like uh, Internet of Medical Things, Internet of Things, Blockchain, GPS, Artificial Intelligence, UAV, and uh, Bluetooth and 5G. These are the aiding technologies which helped in uh, developing applications for social distancing or travel logging or patient data management or delivery of emergency medicine and uh, notification alerting systems, etc. Uh, coming to social distancing, like I said, social distancing was um, one of the major challenge uh, to ensure that the disease was uh, not spreading rapidly. Uh, some technologies, wireless technologies that helped in uh, developing applications for social distancing are uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, GNSS, RFID, and Zigbee. Other technologies were also used where uh, um, image and visualization was involved. Uh, when we are uh, looking at social distancing, we wanted to come up with a lightweight uh, model that was uh, low cost and uh, low power consuming, also easily deployable to handle the situation. Uh, because um, if you consider the image based uh, technologies which uh, rely on the video streams, then um, it, it requires intense uh, processing and memory and power, etc. Coming to some of the prayer research on this uh, applications um, that are uh, that are about social distancing are uh, listed here the first paper uh, tripathi et al it uh, works on uh, sensors and ble and it's a standalone uh, system which is uh, not dependent on any mobile phones it uses uh, received signal strength indicator 
for distance estimation and uh, to develop the social distancing uh, application which is a hardware uh, model who at all uh, comes up with the video feed based uh, model which is which can be used in public place, uh, places and this is uh, used to estimate the distance based on the humans detected in a video frame uh, similarly ziran uh, and uh, sharma et al are uh, two other researchers who use video feed uh, for real time distance uh, estimation by identifying the people in the video feed and uh, kobayashi uh, works with uh, uh, bluetooth low energy packets and it is uh, based on wi-fi nodes and it can be implemented in um, limited spaces like university campuses the current paper uh, uses ble signals as well to uh, estimate the distance based on the received signal strength and it can be used in indoor and uh, outdoor space coming to the novel contributions of this current paper we have uh, implemented bluetooth based distance estimation using the received signal strength indicator a log normal shadow model for distance estimation an uh, alerting mechanism which notifies the user of different conditions like uh, safe or mildly suspect and highly suspect whenever a user comes in contact with the other user and a vibrator to alert the user of the proximity to a suspect and uh, a context aware recommendation system designed on the 5w1h code dimension tree model for safe mobility coming to the problems addressed in the current paper um, we were looking at the need for uh, user friendly and more approachable design which is low cost and low power consuming it is easily deployable interoperable and adaptive and uh, it has some safety aware features to aid in uh, safe mobility here we are uh, looking at the proposed easy band 2.0 mechanism uh, the rssi of the bluetooth signal is used to estimate the distance of the device from the client node and the client node also enables data transfer from the bluetooth devices upon detection how are we going to enable this uh, bluetooth device detection is we are using a linux based bluetooth protocol stack which uh, scans for the devices in the proximity and connects uh, with them so when a uh, suspect is detected and uh, which is shown uh, here in the picture as a person in uh, orange and uh, the person in green are uh, safe uh, people so when an uninfected safe person is very close to a infected or suspected person and uh, the distance is uh, less than 1.5 meter they get an alert saying that they are very close to an infected person but uh, if they spend more time in proximity it means that there is a possible cho choice of uh, getting infected so they get an uh, alert where the green uh, person's uh, led turns into yellow or his uh, buzzer and uh, vib buzzer alarm and vibrator goes on to notify that he could be in uh, trouble so they can move away from that suspected person but if the distance is more than 1.5 uh, meters then the led and their signals uh, indicate green that they are at a safe distance here is the list of software and hardware used to implement the actual easy band 2.0 hardware design we have uh, used the raspberry pi leds buzzer alarms and vibrators along with ble devices for the implementation of uh, distance estimation based on the received signal strength indicator we have used the blue z 5.5 uh, bluetooth stack and uh, bluetooth ctl along with uh, python and uh, for implementing the context aware recommendation system we have used uh, oracle sql developer and uh, c++ coming to the log normal shadow model it is the most common range based technology that is used for distance estimation in uh, the, based on the rssi measurements so the one of the most common uh, issues with uh, distance estimation is uh, shadowing and uh, path loss so when it comes to log normal shadow model uh, it can be calibrated uh, using the path loss exponents to reduce the error in this slide we can uh, see the equation for the log normal shadow model where uh, n is the path loss exponent uh, which i was talking about which can be controlled to reduce the error in the readings 
usually the signal strength is affected by three phenomena which is called path loss fading and uh, shadowing shadowing is the loss of signal due to some obstacle between the transmitter and receiver which is likely to happen in uh, outdoor and open spaces and uh, by controlling this uh, path loss exponent we can actually reduce the minimum mean square error in the readings coming to the context aware recommendation system a uh, recommendation system like this finds applications in uh, fields like e-commerce, e-learning, tourism, internet of medical things and uh, many other applications uh, in smart cities. Traditionally, there are uh, two types of recommendation systems like collaborative filtering and the content-based filtering. They use two main attributes like items and users. So if you add one more attribute called context to the recommendation, it generates more customized and accurate recommendations based on the situation. So here we are considering the context like user, the people nearby, social situation, location, social affinity, and safe zone for our application, which is based on um, social distancing and uh, safe mobility. Coming to the proposed context survey recommendation mechanism, here is the architecture of the uh, design um, it includes three modules like uh, the context aware module where the, where the algorithm runs and generates the recommendations the knowledge base which is a collection of uh, different data the user data the pandemic data and also the data from uh, the easy band and the management module the management module is uh, responsible for uh, user registration and uh, user profile generation etc so whenever uh, a user, uh, a registered user is detected and if there is uh, some change, uh, some some uh, action item they are uh, requesting, like uh, if the user wants to uh, travel somewhere based on uh, the location of the request and the location of the destination and also the time and uh, the date of the travel, uh, we extract the information about the place and uh, uh, we deliver them the best recommendation to travel to that place or not to uh, whether the place is uh, safe or not etc the algorithm uh, we are using to uh, develop this cars mechanism is called the 5w1h recommendation system uh, in this uh, figure you can see the code dimension tree how a user um, can access the action item. The action items are uh, divided into uh, travel, tourism, or uh, work, or uh, recreation, like that. And uh, what are they trying to do? The user's interest, like whether they want to shop or go to work, and uh, how, how are they going to travel, and uh, when are they going to travel. Uh, these things are uh, collected, and uh, the data is extracted. And based on this data, we will generate the recommendations. The 5W1H recommender uh, system design is uh, shown in this uh, block diagram where uh, we extract the information, the context information from the user. Like whenever the user requests an uh, action item, immediately the location of the user the profile of the user the date and time of request and everything is uh, extracted along with the action item that they are uh, making a request for and it is uh, compared with the context knowledge base which contains all the pandemic data sets and the mobility data sets and uh, the government uh, uh, covid measures enforced uh, data set so it cross checks with all these data sets and extract the relevant information and then outputs the context uh, related uh, results to the user, which will be like uh, the complete detail of the place and uh, whether it is safe to travel or not. To create the context knowledge base, we have used uh, the following uh, data sets. Uh, one is a 100k data set from Google's community mobility reports, uh, which uh, gives us the mobility of people around a given area. Uh, and then uh, a 23k data set, which consists of all the COVID-19 measures taken from uh, governments across the globe. And uh, a 300k COVID-19 data set from Kaggle, which uh, shows us the number of uh, cases in a given place. Uh, here is the algorithm that runs in the 
context aware module where uh, the module is trying to extract information from the context knowledge base whenever a user makes a request for an action item uh, the user's id the date the time and the action item details are extracted and these are uh, cross-checked with the context knowledge base and uh, based on the same location time and date it extracts the covid data it also extracts the government measures implemented at that place at that time and then uh, returns this uh, information in the form of a csv file the algorithm too uh, is used for context fusion and context output so uh, whatever uh, information was extracted from the knowledge base is again uh, cross-checked with the mobility reports uh, database and uh, it generates the mobility re uh, report of a given place based on the user action item and if the user chooses one of the action item listed here uh, from one to six it generates a recommendation based on whether it is safe to travel to that place based on the mobility reports and uh, we have uh, verified the same algorithm uh, with the user input and uh, once the user id is uh, confirmed from the database uh, the recommendation is generated for the user and uh, it is uh, displayed to the user and also uh, it displays the current uh, situation covid situation and the government rules implemented and uh, about the mobility also and then the final recommendation uh, whether it is safe or not to travel we have also uh, verified the distance estimated using the rssi uh, values over uh, 10 counts and uh, we can uh, interpret uh, this uh, with respect to the average error generated for a given signal strength the hardware uh, validation of the EasyBand 2.4 2.0 is uh, done uh, using uh, using uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, buzzers and LEDs and uh, vibrators, and uh, same is confirmed by the software, uh, which uh, changes the status of a user when they spend uh, too much time in proximity with the suspected user. Coming to the conclusions and future research, uh, this application what we are proposing is low power consuming and it is easily deployable. It also can be quickly modified and uh, CARS recommendation system uh, will ensure safe mobility during the pandemic. Also RSSI based distance estimation is uh, very ac accurate for uh, distances uh, which is less than 100 meters. And, um, this work can be modified under uh, Internet of Medical Things umbrella uh, to work as a case monitoring and a reporting tool. In future, uh, we can do research towards data security and privacy and also include some uh, user friendly graphical interface. And that's about my uh, research and I'm now ready for questions from the audience.